It's been a long time since I did a video on Uncle Howard, isn't it? Since I did a video on, since I did a report on Howard Phillips Lovecraft. So, what we've got today is, I have been reading him by the way, I've just not gotten around to making a video. So what we've got today is Memory, a 350 word piece of flash fiction that uh, he wrote in 1919, probably age 28-ish, depending on the month that it was published, uh, that it was written. It wasn't published though until uh, 1923 in the magazine, The National Amateur. Anyway. It's got great description in this story. It's only like five paragraphs. It's nothing because it's 350 words. It's flash fiction. It's on one page. And then this copy that I've got, it'll be on one page no matter what book you get it in. So 350 words, like I said. It takes place in the ancient valley of Nis, I believe. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Some of the Lovecraft enthusiasts might correct me on that. Um, it's got these ancient stone ruins and monoliths lying around. They're all covered in like vegetation and uh, trees and stuff growing in there and under them they've got like serpent stuff and toads living in there. It's got just two characters. It's also got some like apes running around in the courtyard in this this like ruin ruin place that's been like taken over by the vegetation. But there's only two characters. The genie that haunts the moonbeams and the the, the demon of the valley, this valley where it's set. And after this like great description uh, throughout the first few paragraphs all that happens is the genie says, I'm old and I can't remember who built this place. Can you tell me? To the demon. And the demon says that it was built by man. <laughs> That's basically what happens. Uh, I'm just going to read this to you because it's not going to take me uh, not but a minute to read this. <laughs> <clears throat> In the valley of Nis, the accursed waning moon shines thinly tearing a path for its light with feeble horns through the lethal foliage of a great upas tree. And within the depths of the valley, where the light reaches not, move forms not meant to be beheld. Rank is the herbage on, the, on each slope, where evil vines and creeping plants crawl amidst the stones of ruined palaces, twining light, tightly about broken columns and strange monoliths, and heaving up marble pavements laid by forgotten hands, and in the trees that grow gigantic, in crumbling courtyards, leap little apes, while in and out of the deep treasure vaults writhe poison serpents and scaly things without a name. Vast are the stones which sleep beneath coverlets of dank moss, and mighty were the walls from which they fell. From all t for, for all time did their builders erect them, and in so soothe they yet serve nobly, for beneath them the grey toad makes his habitation. At the very bottom of the valley lies the river, the river Tan, the Van, T-H-A-N, whose waters are slimy and filled with weeds. From hidden springs it rises, and to subterranean grottoes it flows, so that the demon of the valley knows not why its waters are red, nor whither they are bound. The genie that haunts the moonbeams spake to the demon of the valley, saying, I am old and forget much. Tell me the deed deeds and aspect and name of them who built these things of stone. And the demon replied, I am memory, and I am wise in law of the past, but I too am old. These beings were like the waters of the river Tan, not to be understood. Their deeds I recall not, for they were but of the moment. Their aspect I, rec I recall dimly, for it was like to that of the little apes in the trees. Their name I recall clearly, for it rhymed with that of the river. These beings of yesterday were called man. So the genie flew back to the thin horn moon, and the demon looked intently at a little ape in a tree that grew in a crumbling courtyard. So yeah, I really like that cool little story. <laughs> if you wanted to get a feel for what Lovecraft's writing was like, this is probably a decent place to start. I've been saying, you know, whether you should start with uh, this, each story that I read as I do these videos about Lovecraft. This isn't a bad place to start. Better than The Call of Cthulhu. Definitely better than that. But anyway, what did you think of that story in memory? I really like it. 